Thank you very much. Mine is to say that uh, the issue of one man, one vote was brought uh, by one of our former minister and MP for Kangema on That was around 2002, October, when he gave a, a, a lawyer, Gibson Kamaukuria, to go to court to uh, uh, prosecute against the Attorney General because of the boundary delimitation that was done in 1986, whereby constituencies were not, they did not consider the numbers when they were forming the constituencies. But now one thing I understand is that when they got to government, Kebaka was the president, Mechuku was there, they were not able to implement this issue of one man, one vote. They have been trying. In 2012, Uhuru got in and Uhuru was one of the supporters of one man, one vote. He tried to implement it, it was not practical. It was not possible because even at the third end, that's when Mechuki uh, uh, Uhuru brought the issue of one man, one, one vote. But as a parliament, we have now have a system whereby the constituency money is uh, divided according to the uh, wards. And that's a better approach. And I wish even at the, uh, 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 the, div the Commission of uh, div uh, Revenue Division, I wish we can try to see how we can be able to gauge on how we can t uh, divide money according to the numbers at the counties. Because if we go the one man, one shilling, one vote, that route, unless we are able to bring all the communities together, we are agreeing on one formula. I think that thing might bring antagonism between us and other communities. And one thing we must understand, mm -hmm. this is not the best time. It could have been good when the Kebaki was president. It could have been easier when Uhuru was president. I don't want to say that when Ruto is the president, it will be more difficult. But one thing we must understand, we must try anything that we are advocating or pushing, we bring all the communities together so that we may not be sidelined by other communities.